right, so we're here today. We're gonna do, we're trying to knock out two different uh, two different tasks off the list today. So number one, I just had the 67A uh, recall done on my pickup. So I returned it back to stock, took it to the dealership, and um, you know just told them to do the recall, right? So the reason I want that recall is I wanna see what's on it. So we're gonna do a readout uh, on the truck. I'm going to compare that recall file to the file that I had in the truck, and I wanna see what's changed on it. So that'll be, I don't know if that'll be part of this video, that might be a part two, but anyways, that's, that's one of the reasons we're doing this today. And the next thing I wanna talk about is the MPVI4 and the RTD4 options from HP Tuners. You guys are probably used to seeing the MPVI3. Some of you have a two or a two plus, but the MPVI4 has some pretty cool new features that we're gonna talk about, as well as uh, if you wanna come on in here and you can see that is one specifically made for us that we will have available shortly. And as you can see, there's no cables plugged into it. We are communicating via uh, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. So no cables. Um, as soon as this is done updating, we're gonna pull this file out. So that's the two birds we're gonna kill today is uh, number one, do a readout on the 67A update from Chrysler and get to working on the TDN app using the new RTD4 and MPVI4 from HP Tuners. Things that are different with the MPVI4 and the RTD4, which I cannot unplug because it's 14% in the middle of an update. So that one's down there for now. So we'll use this for now. Things that are new. So far, um, newer chipset, faster chipset, the ability for Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. And the biggest thing that I'm excited about is the ability to utilize the TDN app, uh, which is Tune Delivery Network, um, with HP tuners, think for those of you guys in the diesel tuning industry, similar to the way Easy Link functions and the fact that the tuning work will be in the cloud. You will do a readout with your phone, with your smart device, your tablet, whatever you want to use. No cables involved, no laptop involved, no however else you're doing it before. So basically, you will plug this and only this in to your truck, and then you will connect to it with your phone or tablet. You'll upload. You'll, you'll do a, a readout, upload it to the cloud. I, as the calibrator, will get a notification that this upload is there. And then as soon as you get uh, notified, or as soon as, as soon as I put your tunes on the cloud, you'll get a notification that's ready for upload. So no computer is necessary anymore. And I'm pretty excited about that. Not only on the read and write, but also the data logging. So no longer do you have to worry about dragging a computer out to the truck worrying about whether you have the right channels selected. All you've got to do is plug this in and hit record. I will see everything I need to see on my end. And you can uh, read and clear DTCs through your phone or your tablet with just this little guy right here. No more computers in the truck. So we're done with the firmware update on here and I'm gonna do a readout on this truck and I'm gonna tune this truck. And these are the three things that I'm gonna use. My phone with the TDN app open, already uh, ready to go. Our, our RTD itself and my bypass cable, no computers. Those of you with the 2018 or newer truck are probably familiar with what this is, but I had this unplugged to go to the dealer. It's not currently plugged in. We are just updating the device firmware right now. So as soon as it is done, I will unplug it and get this back installed. And so we're just gonna plug this into the OBD right here. Take this part right here and drop it into where the factory OBD plug was. It should just snap right in like that. We'll find a place to tuck this up out of the way nicely like that. And then I like to take the extra and tuck it away. But first, we're going to plug this into this green module, which we'll show you guys here in a second. Got the cable plugged in. I'll take my RTD and plug it into the OBD2 port. And we're gonna go to the TDN app, hit home right here. And I'm gonna go to flash. And I'm actually gonna say read vehicle. All right, and it's reading. So now we wait, I don't know, six, eight, 10 minutes. Should be done and then I'll go in my office and see what we got to work with. All right, so just was in my office and was checking this file out. Nothing too wild that I can see. This is the AK version of the file, which is associated or version of the, you know, the tune file that would be with this truck from the factory. Uh, I had the AJ 
in my library and I was actually running on AF with this truck. So the truck itself was a couple versions behind from the, the most recent, which is the AK that I just got from the dealership today, all the way back to the AF was a couple differences, but the AJ to the AK, which would be the R67 um, recall versus the latest software update just before that. As far as what I can see in HP tuners, nothing was changed. Um, I'm going to dig into that later, probably be a follow-up video, and uh, we can we can dig into that a little deeper and see what the real differences are. But in the meantime, uh, I just walked back out, turned the key back on, got my phone out of my pocket. Uh, I'm going to flash uh, the shift on the fly um, tune file that I just laid over the new R67 update from the dealership. All right, so we're at the end of the flash here. It says, turn off ignition. Press the ready button. It's gonna say, wait for 10 seconds. Give me a little countdown here. And done. Complete, please cycle the ignition. We'll give it a cycle. Okay, and we're back to the home screen. Let this thing come all the way on, and we should have our shift on the fly. One, two, three. One, two, three. So we're all back with our shift on the fly stuff. All right, so to wrap things up, went to the dealership today, got a R67 um, uh, recall update down to the truck. We came home. We uh, ripped it out with our new RTD device, checked it out on the cloud. Um, I went ahead and updated that to our shift on the fly, you know, our full tune setup. And then we uh, came back out here, we flashed it. We sent a little task, test data log. So um, that wraps us up for today. I wanna talk about these things real quick. If you order an MPVI, uh, which is the standard HP tuners device, from here on out, if you order a new one, you're gonna get a four. So the three is discontinued, same as it discontinued the twos and the two pluses and all that stuff. So everything shipping now will be an MPVI-4. Also, moving forward, this is something we're gonna have available shortly. This is called an RTD. Those of you familiar with EFI Live, this would be similar to an EFI Live AutoCal, where this would be like the EFI Live flash can. So this is for your shop owners, um, your enthusiasts that wanna do their own tuning, that kind of stuff. Also comes with a heavier price tag. This is cheaper. Uh, we'll be buying them in bulk, hence the yellow color and the fancy Hardway Performance logo on the front. Um, these will be cheaper, little less features. So these are meant for the end users that are going to take the tune files uh, from a tuner like myself or anybody else you may work with. It's not just linked to one person like an AutoCal is. You can use it with multiple people on multiple vehicles. But this is for your end user that doesn't want to do their own tuning, just wants to receive their own tuning uh, from a tuner to be able to flash and also comes with the ability to uh, read and send data logs, as well as read and clear diagnostic codes. So this will be coming soon. These are hitting the market already. These are already out on the market. They're coming from us soon is what I meant to say. These are already out on the market. You'll start seeing more of these. Those of you with uh, 2013 and newer Ram trucks that want to use the TDN app, which is how we uh, read and flash this truck today. You have to have an MPVI 4 or an RTD 4 moving forward. Um, so long story short, this is the future. So we'll be playing with these. Um, a lot of our stuff in the next uh, coming months will be moving closer to being on the app only. Um, that is for your convenience, our convenience. Uh, there is some other special features. Um, I don't want to talk about yet because I don't want to get bombarded, but there's more cool stuff coming down the pipeline with hardware performance and HP tuners, so stay tuned.